pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Supervisor Vecchio? Here. Councilman McCarthy? Here. Councilman Creighton? Here. Councilman Lehan? Here. Councilwoman Noah? Here. <laughs> Again? Okay, before we begin, I'd just like to offer a word of uh, welcome to the new councilwoman, Lynn Nowak. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We did it. That right? okay. That's an echo. Yeah. Sure. Appointments by the supervisor, the supervisor to appoint. Thomas McCarthy, Deputy Supervisor, Bradley Harris, Town Historian, Marlene Morky, Secretary, Louis Necroto, Budget Officer. And Supervisor points attached names for term of office to the User Advisory Board. Under correspondence, we have a parade walk run permit for Smithtown Christian School 5K one mile fun run. This is the second reading and the Greater Long Island Run Club, 15K run, second reading. Resolutions of the Town Board to appoint Matthew Jakubowski as Town Attorney for the Town of Smithtown, term of office January 1, 2014 to December 31, 2015, and at a salary of $120,000, and further authorize the appointment as Freedom of Information Officer. <coughs> Councilwoman uh, Nowak? Yes. Councilman Creighton? No. Councilman Wareheim? No. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Excuse me, Supervisor Vecchio, just on, on that respect, that resolution, and I appreciate the board's decision. Would it be possible, I think the resolution um, would be effective um, tomorrow? Also, would it be possible the board to consider um, on short notice to extend the date to allow me to put all my things in order by Friday to change the date to effective? That deal fine, but I still believe the term of office by law is January 1st. Through. Um, so you were saying, in effect, we have two town attorneys? For the no, week? no. I'm continuing as a hold of an existing term until you appoint someone. So it would be effective the date that. Mm, I don't think so. I think the term of office is January 1st. Uh, there's been a test case on that that I know of. But more importantly, I would just ask the board to make it effective so I can continue to clean okay. up the everything in place for this Friday. Please. We'll it's make it effective. The first. January 1st. We'll keep you as a holdover so that you'll be on the payroll. Until Friday will be my last day. Right. Thank Correct. You. Town board to appoint Fred Calandrino as deputy town attorney effective January 8th at an annual salary of $112,000. Councilwoman Nowak? Yes. Councilman Creighton? No. Councilman Wareheim? No. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Town board to appoint Louis Necrotus town controller. Term of office January 1st, 2014 through December 31st, 2015. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vector? Yes. Town board to appoint Mark Riley as town engineer for the town of Smithtown. Term of office January 1, 2014 through December 31st, 2015. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vector? Yes. The town board to appoint the following persons as members of the Conservation That's Advisory fine. Board, effective January 1, 2014 through December 31st, 2017. Councilwoman Noah? 15, yes. I'm sorry. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? <coughs> yes. Councilman McCarthy? <coughs> yes. Supervisor Beckfield? Yes. Town board to appoint Joseph Jaycee to the Board of Ethics Term of Office, January 1, 2014 through December 31st, 2016. Continue. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio. The town board to appoint the names listed on the agenda to the Handicapped Advisory Board and designate Elaine Leonard as the ADA coordinator. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio. Town board to appoint Conrad Chase Sr. to the Planning Board, term of office January 1, 2014 through December 31st. 
Councilwoman Nowick? Yes. Councilman Creighton? No. Councilman Wareheim? No. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Town Board to appoint James Earhart as chairperson to the Planning Board. Term of office is January 1, 2014 through December 31, 2015. Councilwoman Nowick? Yes. Councilman Creighton? No. Councilman Wareheim? No. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Town Board to appoint Anthony Tanzi as a member of the Board of Zoning Appeals. Term of office January 1, 2014 through December 31st, 2018. Further designate Adrian, Adrian Giannadeo as chairperson of the Board of Zoning Appeals. Term of office January 1, 2014 through 31, December 31, 2015. And to further appoint Paul Hennings as attorney to the Board of Zoning Appeals. Term of office January 1, 2014 through December 31st, 2015. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio. Town Board to appoint Anthony Galata as hearing officer for the Parking Violations Bureau for term of office from January 1, 2014 through December 31st, 2016. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio. Town Board to appoint Councilwoman Lynn Noah, Fred Calandrino, Deputy Town Attorney, and Eileen Tropia to the Labor Management Committee. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio. Town Board to designate the Smithtown News as the official town newspaper for the town of Smithtown. Councilman, Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? No. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio. Town Board to appoint Vincent Puglia as Registrar of Vital Statistics and Maureen Cecillo as Deputy Registrar for Districts 5157, 5138. 5141 and 5146. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vicky? Yes. The town board to approve the supervisor's appointment to the Youth Advisory Board as listed above. Term of office January 7, 2014 through December 31, 2016. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vector. Town Board to authorize the clerk to advertise for a bid for removal of, removal of Lee Chay to be returned to Town Hall on January 23rd at 11 a.m. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vector. Yes, you might. Number 17, the Town Board to accept the attached proposal for mine safety appliances as per number 17 of the printed agenda. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Yes. I have number 18, Town Board to accept the attached proposal from L.K. McLean Associates PC to provide professional engineering services as per the printed agenda. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vector. Yes. Number 19, the Town Board to accept the attached proposal from RTP Environmental Associates to permit to provide air permit reporting services as per number 19 of the printed agenda. Council, Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vector. Yes. Number 20, the town board to authorize a town attorney or appropriate official to enter into stipulation of settlement or agreement and consent to entry or order regarding various associary matters as per the printed agenda. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. Number 21, the town board to authorize the control or to transfer $16.74 as per the printed agenda. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Supervisor yes. Becky? Yes. And number 22, transfer from accounts as per number 22 of the printed agenda for the highway department. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Number 23, the town board to authorize the control to increase various accounts as per the printed agenda for scales in the Montclair yard. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Number 24, the Town Board authorized the continued service of Jennifer Messino and Messino Consulting as per number 24 of the printed agenda. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. And number 25, salary increase for Kathleen Schur, student intern in Public Safety Department as per the printed agenda. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Wareheim? Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vicky? Yes. Number 26, the town board authorized return for medical leave of absence 
for an employee in the highway department as per number 26 of the printed agenda. Councilwoman Noack? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wehan? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. And uh, number 27, the town board authorized part time appointments to the position of dispatcher in the public safety as per item number 27 of the printed agenda. Councilwoman Noack? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Uh, Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? I have three other resolutions. The town board to authorize a work session for January 23rd, 2014. At 10 a.m. in the town hall, Victor List Boardroom. Councilwoman Noack? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vector. Town Board to authorize the extension of rental rates for hired equipment for snow removal and other department work, highway department work, until February 27, 2014. Councilwoman Noack? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio. And town board to approve the appointment of um, town clerk Vincent Puglio as records management officer. Councilwoman Noack? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Okay. Supervisor yes. Vecchio. Yes. And uh, regarding uh, resolution number 29, town board to resent resolution 2013. <coughs> of the town board meeting held on December 17, 2013. That refers to the uh, rescission of a highway rental agreement. Councilwoman Noack? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Uh, Michelle Gary wishes to be heard. Thank you, this. Good afternoon. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to address the board at the start of the new year to reaffirm the goals and objectives of the Old North Port Road Lawrence Road Task Force. The task force is now a registered and official neighborhood watch group. Um, having this national organization behind us is a great asset. Most people think of the neighborhood uh, watch as a way to combat crime in a neighborhood. Um, but over the years, the organization has actually changed and expanded its role to deal with residents and neighborhoods that are uh, negatively impacted by business and industry. So it's a perfect fit for our group. And uh, just for the benefit of uh, Ms. Nowick, the new town board member, I'd just like to recap who we are and what we're all about. Uh, we're a group of taxpaying residents that live in the vicinity of the intersection of Old North Port Road and Lawrence Road, hence the reason for our long name. Uh, we live in Comac, Smithtown, and Kings Park. Some of us have lived here for our entire lives, and others have recently moved into the area. We do not live in the so-called Kings Park industrial area, because there really isn't such a thing. We live in residentially zoned neighborhoods. Uh, our objective is simple. We just want the town to enforce the current zoning. We don't want it changed. We don't want to make up a new zone. We just want the current zone enforced. In that regard, um, and this is, this is ongoing, this has been happening, I'm just kind of reiterating and giving you a little history. Um, we continue to request the town to implement and consist, a consistent and vigilant monitoring of all the activities on the properties commonly known as KPE2, JESCO, town, county, and state recycling, material waste management, et cetera, and to take any and all enforcement actions, including summonses for code violations, no matter how big or small, whether it be road debris, berm heights, illegal trailers, dumpster violations, fuel tank and chemical storage, illegal dumping of every kind, an illegal junkyard, et cetera. Um, we'd like some sort of inspection of the buildings and equipment on these properties to ensure that they're in compliance. And if they're not, take the necessary steps to remove any unsafe buildings, equipment, and materials. Uh, I'd like to say that we have had some forward progress over the last year, year and a half, but recently we seem to be back to square one. Uh, KPE2, which has a preliminary injunction against it, has most of their heavy equipment back on their site, including additional large gray industrial storage trailers. Um, I was hoping to have some pictures today, but it didn't work out. Um, it's a clear violation of the temporary restraining order. I don't know how the town is monitoring these things, but 
you know, on a daily basis there's stuff going on there that shouldn't be happening. In addition to that, they don't give the town proper notice when they're supposed to be working, um, which the residents have, I, I need like two more minutes, uh, the residents have called on that. Uh, the vacant office building on that property is deteriorating every single day and it's a total eyesore. Um, as for Jezco, which is on Lawrence Road, uh, the violations there are beyond comprehension. It's continuing to be an illegal trucking station. Uh, trucks and tractor trailers continue to enter and exit the site with material. Um, there's more boats being stored there now than ever before, I guess because it's winter. Um, more importantly and most disturbing of all is the news that we suspected there were people living in some of these campers and trailers that were on the property. Um, and that has actually proven to be true and one of the people that are living in one of the trailers on that property is actually is a registered sex offender. Um, so in addition to the fact that people shouldn't be living there to begin with, the fact that it's a registered sex offender is most alarming to the people that live in that neighborhood. Compliance to town code and local laws should not be optional for businesses. Um, they're not above the law. Just because they've been doing it for a long time doesn't give them the right to continue to do it. Um, if these kind of things were happening by a resident in the town and neighbors were rallying around a resident, um, action would be taken. So I think that businesses should be held at least to the same standard that um, residents are held to. We are frustrated at the court cases and how slow these things seem to be dragging on. I don't know if that's the wheels of justice, if, that's, if, if there's no, you know, promise for anything to be, to be uh, had in a speedy fashion. Um, we try to go to as many of the court cases as we can. Um, at the last court case, uh, one of our task force representatives overheard a comment um, made by somebody that said, whatever you do, don't empower the residents. Um, and that's really disturbing to me personally and to anybody who um, would be in a position where they would be advocating for um, the people to. This is Gary. You've been way over the time. All right. Now, I will. I. I want to direct, Mr. Zolo, uh, the questions you referred to about the continuing use on KPI, and uh, possible disregard of the injunction. Do you have any news to report on that? I think I responded to, e to an email yesterday. Right. Um, I saw that. With respect to the sex offender, that was referred to the force. No, stay on KPI. KPE. KPE. I was given a video and dealing with public safety. We have no reason to believe there's any activity that's violating the current restraining order. Okay. okay. All right. The last thing on my agenda is kind of off topic a little bit, but it's not really. Um, the way in which the town gives notices um, for hearings and whatnot, uh, they're listing the corporate identity of the company, and I don't know if there's a policy or a procedure to follow. But I think for transparency purposes, it would be beneficial if the town listed the doing business as name of the company that's before any of the town boards for changes or whatnot. For example, I think on the, um, I don't know if it's a BZA hearing that's coming up, uh, it lists KVC Holding and DWC Management. You know, to the average person who's not looking at these things, they would have no idea who this company actually was. I think. I may be wrong, but I think it's Pioneer Paving, which everybody knows what Pioneer Paving is. So I think moving forward, it would be a good thing for the town for transparency purposes to list the doing business as name so the residents have a general idea or an exact idea of what issues are going before the town. That sounds like a good idea. We'll look at that. That's all I have. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Happy you. New Year. Thank you. Bill Zimmerman. Good afternoon, Mr. Vecchio, Supervisor and members of the town board. Mr. Vecchio, I was going through some old papers and I see that our relationship goes back about 38 years uh -huh. when you first 36. asked me. Uh, 36. Uh, that's 38, was 78. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. But in reading that, I was actually there on a regrading and excavating permit for Carlson Associates. And you posed a question to me, which today I'd like to answer. Are any of your neighbors with you? Let me today say that not only are my neighbors with me, but there are civic associations, there are community associations. They basically want 
old Northport Road settled. For too many years, and I'm saying this goes back to probably around 1968, 69, this has been a roller coaster. I think that one of the uh, things that you did do uh, in 1998, I believe you appointed me and Greg Zarnicki and Dave Flynn to a study committee. And we did the study. It's probably sitting next to a number of other studies. Uh, I would encourage this board, and congratulations to you that are new. Congratulations for those of you that were reelected. Please make your mark on Smithtown history. Listen to the public. I would like to offer one antidote that I might. Some years ago, I had the opportunity to go to a flying safety seminar in the Bahamas. The speaker was uh, Colonel Blackjack Herbert, whose plane was the one that was borrowed by a friend that went into the Empire State Building. He was very illustrative in that he was reciting law versus action. And the two formulas that he used was General Sprague, who wrote the military manual for flying, and General LeMay, who later enforced it. When General LeMay took over Strategic Air Command, he was faced with maintenance problems, operational problems, and he called all of his crews, specifically when I say crew, what I'm referring to is wing commanders, wing operations officers, and wing maintenance officers. And what he told them was, there's too many delays, there's too many accidents. What are you going to do about it? They got one up one after another who said, well, gee, it's not really my fault. It's operations, it's material, it's maintenance. And General LeMay looked them in the eye and said, it's a management problem, and you will be replaced by. I think my caution to you gentlemen and lady is that if we don't get something done, your community is becoming attentive. They're watching. And I think you can either be heroes or villains. Let's get Old Northport Road settled, and let's do it through 2014, and I do thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Zolo used to be heard? Yes, please. Good afternoon, members of the board. I just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve this town for the last two years. It's been an honor and a privilege. I think we've done, done some good things. And um, I congratulate all the people on their reappointments and their new appointments. And I also know that you'll be in good hands with Matt Jacobowski, who's a town attorney, and Fred as a deputy. I hired both of them back in the, um, my first term here was my, when I was here from two 1992 to 2002. We've done some good things. Again, I thank you. I wish you all good health, happiness, and peace in the coming year. And Lynn, congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you for your service, John. Thank you, John. Um, you'll now sit as a Board of Site Plan Review and the Site Plan Review Board to conditionally approve Site Plan number 1323 by contact Farmaco for a proposed parking area expansion and an increase in the second floor interior addition uh, location in Adams Avenue and Suffolk Court and Hot Park and zone Long Island um, Light Industry. Councilwoman Norwick. You can abstain. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea what right. this is. I'm sure. Saying. Okay, Councilman Creighton. Yes. Councilman Wareham. Yes. Councilman McCarthy. Yes. Supervisor Vecchi. Yes. yes. And the minutes also for. And the minutes. Something. Thank you. Were the minutes of the 17th? Are yeah. Okay. Town board to approve the minutes of the 17th of December. Councilwoman Minowick? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareham? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Thank you. Yes. I move, move to close the meeting. Second. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Wareham? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilwoman Minowick? Yes.